I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, Gemini. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, uh, Gemini, because that's how I keep up with y'all see the comments. And if you also find some cards that resonate, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Gemini, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And always I'm super appreciative of it, Gemini, when you guys take that extra step to to support my reading uh, tarot reading channel in that way. And finally, Gemini, before we get into this weekly general tarot reading for you, I just want to say and remind you that when it comes to my weekly readings, at least Gemini, I'm not here to make a choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, right? I believe tarot cards are here to give you some perspective, uh, some food for thought as you go throughout your life, but never making a decision in your life because it's your, you know, it's, you, you know this, we all just said it. So with all that being said, Gemini, let's get into your weekly general tarot reading with your objective cards. Now your objective cards are the, is the energy, overall energy this week that you're going to be in. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you guys have the Metamorphosis card as well as the Hierophant card. Uh, lovely artwork. Um, so with this type of dynamic, this is definitely a situation of where um, huge change coming into y'all's lives, Gemini, and I and it's through some type of commitment of some sort. I don't know, Gemini, if some of you guys have um, committed to something recently, um, committed to like a new job, perhaps, committed to a new person, perhaps, maybe committed to something on a deeper level. Uh, but with this dynamic, with the Hierophant as well, it's something that's kind of been like a, almost like answering a calling almost. So let's get some clarification on this, Gemini, and see what, um, what Tara has to say on this. Let's see if we can get any more detail on this, Gemini. This card as well. So the clarifiers that we have for that Metamorphosis card, as well as your Hierophant card, Gemini, is the Seven of Wands coming in with the Ace of Cups. And then the Two of Wands. So definitely a situation of... Um, you opened yourself up to something. You opened your heart up to something. You opened you, your mind to something. You opened up to some type of possibility. Uh, that's really what it is. You. It's almost as if like uh, instead of like working against the current, you finally are just like taking a step back instead of fighting it. You're just like, oh, what do you have to offer? Almost. And I feel like that's the, the kind of question that you're asking either a person or just even like the universe, you're just sitting there and just like, you know what? Let me just start uh, listening. Let me just start paying attention and let me start making big changes. Um, and like, that's where it is that your approach. Back of the deck energy is the two of cups. So really speaking in terms of a person, uh, for my Geminis that is resonating with a person of some sort, Hierophant, Ace of Cups, um, <laughs> I mean, this is such a dynamic of where it's just like high level commitment, um, really deep, uh, emotions and an intense connection of some sort if this is talking about a person if not with the two of cups i mean this is just more so of a, a card of where it's just like really again just seemingly like finding like your niche in something almost gemini it feels such a random message i know but um it's just interesting it's just like you found your element you found your element and you're considering like just it sounds so cheesy but it's like spreading your wings and just being like you know what you're just ready for whatever life has to offer you whatever life has to throw at you almost gemini because with this four of cups here it lets me know that you've been in this place gemini of where you're kind of just like eh, all right now let's like what's next what's more there has to be something more out there and for some of you gemini it seemingly is like a situation where it's like there's been stuff around you always you just finally need to like start paying attention and looking at it you you need to start considering it as a thing right and so that's why we go into that message from before uh gemini from that uh ace of cups where it's like it seems like you are opening up to the idea or opening up your heart to someone 
uh, requires you to open up though i don't feel like this is like a situation where it's like you open up after the situation i mean obviously of course when something good happens right that's when you open up more to it but i see something coming in once you start uh looking around and considering things more not being as picky right so let's look at the clarifiers that i got uh gemini for your four of cups so we have the Nine of wands coming for some reason i thought one of the cards fell coming in with the king of or queen of swords and then the ten of cups it's showing to me you're in control of the situation very much so uh gemini it's seemingly is showing that you have made a decision on something and you're sticking to it and actually taking action so let's just use an example just for the simplicity of relaying this message gemini let's just say for simplicity's sake um, you for a while have always been sitting there and you're just like, man, I wish I could be a waiter. This is me projecting because I always want to actually have always have the secret desire to be a waiter at some point, Gemini, but y'all don't care. But for the examples, like you wanted to always be a waiter and you're always, you're just like, you know, you see like help wanted signs before and you're just like, eh, and you wouldn't, be, and you wouldn't have the time for it. You never entertained the idea of you being a waiter. And now it seems like you woke up and you're just like finally decided just like you know what i've been wanting to be a waiter for a really long time let me just actually put feelers out there and through you putting feelers out there uh knight of wands ten of cups this seems to be pretty affirming like it seems to be like a positive choice for you and that would make sense again as i was saying before uh gemini you remember when i was saying some uh something along the lines of um higher level commitment of some sort so right if you came signing it into like a new job of some sort um, it's just something that you finally are taking a chance on. Justice card coming in. Uh, Libra card. No relevance at all. I'm just a Libra. Uh, Gemini. So I always like to point it out when I see a Libra card just because, honey. Um, but yeah, Justice card coming in. Uh, karmic balance. This is just something I feel like you're finally just taking action on something or some. Essentially, Gemini, if you came into this reading kind of just like unsure, um about a situation what choice to make on it it seems to be showing like once you actually consider like you know let's just say um gemini you always would consider just like oh i don't bother i haven't bothered doing insert thing here right you haven't bothered doing this because you feel as if or you convince yourself that you knew the outcome would turn into this right you knew and so uh you never bothered trying it out you you never entertained the idea of it um, I see you finally entertaining it and actually liking the results that you get, honey. Um, which makes a sense for a lot of you Geminis, because I feel like some of you guys have been, like, at this, like, uh, situation in your head where it's, like, you're not quite sure what to do with something. Um, that's just something that I've been feeling for a while for you Geminis. Uh, so let's continue on with this reading with this star card. This is the card of where it's like continuing on with this message is something that has felt like a little bit out of reach for you. But it's something you've really wanted really badly for a while now, Gemini. So let's get some clarifiers on this. Let's deep dive into this a little bit more. So what's going on with this star card? You know, let's get a little bit more detail, honey. Cards coming out. Let's see. We have the Five of Swords, Gemini, coming in with the Nine of Swords. I don't, I don't read uh, inverted, by the way, or I don't tell you what's inverted, what's not, because it's all intuitive. So there's no need for me to give you guys extra information that holds no bearing um, to how you receive the message at all. Um, and then we have the Two of Cups, uh, Gemini. So for these to be your clarifiers. Gemini, this is something where it's like you've had anxiety about something, right? Whether it's a person, two cups following you, definitely seems like a person, a very specific situation. Like this seems to be this message overall, this tarot reading seems to be honing in on a very specific message or situation for some of you Geminis. Um, with no leeway on it at all. Um, this is something that you've had your mind on for a while, something you've had a lot of anxiety about, right? With this Nine of Swords here, this is something that's been in your head for quite some time when it comes to this connection. And distance has happened here, Five of Swords, for, some, for whatever the reason is. Uh, I don't know if you decided to put distance between you and the star, because here's the thing, it's weird, uh, Gemini, because it's like, you want, like, the star card is something that you want really badly, right? 
that seemingly is out of reach, but then you have this five of sword here, which I feel like is what's making it more out of reach than it actually should be. Like, I don't even feel like it is technically out of reach for you, but there's this five of swords energy that makes it out of reach. I don't know if you are the one that's, that did, did use your words, Valka. Well, okay. I don't know if you are the one, Gemini, that did this, or the other person, or the other, whatever the situation is, whether the, whatever the other cup is, um, in regards to this specific situation, it's, but it's interesting. So let's close out this pile uh, with one last tarot card. You mm -hmm. have the hanged, the hanged one coming in for you. So this is like taking action. This is the transition sacrifice. Uh, so Gemini, this really isn't giving, giving me, like you're getting closure for sure, but I, it's not giving me a clear cut message in terms of like how this transition happens, right? Especially with the sacrifice card, this is such a vague message and where it could be like you're sacrificing, um, Three of Wands, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands. I feel like you're just going to be getting closure, uh, Gemini. You feel like you've convinced yourself of a narrative, right? But with this Three of Wands here, there's been breadcrumbs leading you that has given you some type of idea. If you were to be honest with yourself, Gemini, Three of uh, Wands here lets me know like you kind of had an idea. Like There's been breadcrumbs of signs of what it is that you needed to do. Um, Knight of Cups and Four of Wands comes in where you are just walking into this situation, right? This is kind of like in the bag. It's just finally seemingly like taking action, which is what the hanged one would represent as well, so, right? It's taking action in the situation. And the world card came out as well. So it's coming into like this cycle of completion, um, breaking this cycle, right? It seems to be like this action leads to finally, you know, if you haven't been talking to a person for a while, like this seems to be breaking the cycle of silence that you might have been experiencing with this person uh, for whatever time this has been, right? Or whatever this distance has been right whatever that distance was with that five of swords and this two of cups right that i talked about gemini um seems to be um uh, through that hanged man um that you close off that you cut out that five of swords situation so whether that is closure in sense of like you no longer are with this talking to this person you just get affirmation or it's closure in the sense that like you two just reconnect i don't know right it's impossible for me to say one promising way because this reading is for thousands of Geminis, right? So let's get into this reading now. Uh, let's continue on with this reading rather, uh, Gemini, uh, with the Six of Swords. So this is where it's kind of like interesting, right? This is the card of moving on, right? I am going to be honest, Gemini. So it does seem to be this, I mean, we'll see, but this is definitely a situation of moving on now. So it could be moving on from bad feelings or it could be moving on from this person in general. Let's look at the clarifiers for this, though, with your Six of Swords, right? But definitely some type of moving on. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. The Sun card, okay, good. And then the Lover's card, your card, I believe, isn't it, Gemini? Isn't this your card? This is your card, Gemini, the Lover's card. Hmm. So this seems to be like a situation of where it's like, I mean, all this speaks of, like, partnerships, right? Three of Pentacles talks about partnerships, the Lover's card. I mean, similar to the Two of Cups energy, the Sun card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, now, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving one but it also uh, out of all the Knights, but it also is the Knight that covers the most growth as well, right? It's where it's like the Knight of Pentacles gets out of their comfort zone and really, like, pushes their own comfort zone in terms of, like, whether it be like moving into like a new environment or whether I feel like this is more so challenging a lot of your a lot of you Gemini's is um comfort level just in terms of like your own self like something's like making you grow it seems like the situation in some way is kind of like putting a mirror to you and making you have making you reflect in some way and it seems like in this dynamic you've learned a lot about yourself you may have learned a lot about this other situation person as well um and other things but it seems to be like through how you've through the dynamic of this connection of some way, um, you learned a lot about yourself and grown quite a bit. Um, so it seems to be like whatever this connection is, it seems, even if it's fostered some like hurt feelings, which I do get the sense of, 
um, Gemini, it does seem to be a um, stuff that has been conducive for your growth in a positive way. It doesn't seem to be like pointless pain, right? But let's see. Now let's get in the. Oh, I never even closed off that pile actually. So let's close out that pile before we get into your final row of cards, Gemini. Let's see. We have the Three of Rings coming in, so Three of Pentacles closing out this energy. Again, another another sign of uh, partnership contracts. Again, collaboration, right? There's been this constant theme, uh, Gemini, for your entire reading of collaboration and just commitment of whatever type. Um, so definitely seems to be a very promising week for my Geminis that are signing contracts of some type. Um, yeah. So now let's get into your Emperor card. I actually don't really have much to say on this right now, Gemini, until I get some clarifiers, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. <sighs> oh, no, we're not taking any of these. Hmm. Alright, looking at your mini clarifiers that apparently Spirit decided that you needed for the Emperor card, if you couldn't tell by my face how unimpressed I was. Um, <laughs> we have the Fool card coming in for you, Gemini. The King of Cups. The Hierophant following you. The Three of Pentacles following you. And then the Page of Pentacles. So how do we break down this message, Gemini? I kind of get this sense of where, again, these two cards, Hierophant and Three of Pentacles, are like your best friend this week. Um, I don't even feel like I need to go into the further message with those and, and explain them because I already did. But there does seem to be, in regards to this connection, right, you need to adopt more of this full energy. Full energy with this page of pentacles, and I say this is kind of like you extending a pentacle out, right? Communication of some sort needs to happen. Um, if this is in regards to a person, right? Maybe you haven't bothered shooting your shot with something, Gemini, because of, I mean, whatever your reasoning is, right? We all have our reasonings for not doing or doing certain things. Um, but you want to keep that in mind as well, Gemini. With this King of Cups here, this is kind of like a call-out card of where it's just like, well, yeah, you want to adopt this full energy and kind of just do it, right? Rather than being in your head about something, just doing it. Um, there is this balance here with the King of Cups of where there is this necessity um, to, how would we say, Gemini, there is this necessity of keeping your emotions in check, not, uh, not, not just reacting, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You want to come at things from a very level-headed place, uh, Gemini, uh, just keep your emotions in check, right? Whenever you do communicate, if there does seem to be communication, uh, the King of Cups always just comes in as a message of very like grounded emotions and very much so keeping things in perspective, um, understanding other people's perspectives more than just your own, right? Queen of Rings closing out this energy, practicality, generosity, right? This is like such a push, uh, Gemini, of... Um, you know, I'm going to just leave it as like a level of compassion, right? This is not me trying to justify whatever this situation is about, even if there, if there was like some type of like um, issue here with you and your person, right? I don't know what your situation is or what your storyline is with the, uh, what the two of cups is, whether the situation is a person or not, Gemini. Um, but there does seem to be this need to, uh, not internalize things as much or taking things personally, realizing or just coming to accept that things are just not as personal as they might feel at some points in our life. And it's through realizing that, it's not personal, right? It's through kind of taking ourselves out of the situation and just being like, oh, okay, this is just how this person was feeling and they reacted in this way, or this is how um, the situation played out and it had nothing to do with you, Gemini, and what part you played. This is just something that was bound to happen at some point. And so through this like release of responsibility um, and just under level of understanding, Gemini, I do just see things 
panning out beautifully for you, but you just need to really focus in on being that king of cups. Uh, so yeah, Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, and then also I do a weekly general zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, uh, my beautiful Gemini. So if you have a friend that's into zodiac readings, and even if they're not, uh, send them their zodiac sign tarot reading and maybe they can find a message that resonates with them. Until next time though, my beautiful Gemini, I love you so much.